you're watching Alaska Business Now. This is Hillary Safran, and I'm here with lovely ladies that I met at the Matsu Women in Business. This whole show tonight is about connection and networking, and we're going to start with Tammy. Take it away, no <laughs> pressure. None. Uh, hi, I'm Tammy Gray, and I am a mortgage lender and business coach and entrepreneur and started the Matsu Women in Business Network about two years ago. And it really came about as a way to uh, create an opportunity for women to network and connect with other women in business, others who are leaders in industry or in their um, community, and just be able to connect on that level and um, to share our stories and to help support and mentor and um, accentuate each other's businesses and make those referrals and those connections between businesses. So um, that's really how it came about. Uh, we are aligned with a national, international, in fact, organization called HeartLink. So all of our members have that platform to be able to advertise and share and connect with people in other states and in other countries. Tammy. I know that at the meetings, maybe sometimes 20 to 30 women will appear, will come to different business locations, but you have a database, people who belong to Matsu Women in Business and also another chapter, Anchorage Women in Business, about 600 and more. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. So that was really important. We didn't want to be a type of organization where you had to pay annual dues and then pay for each meeting to attend. So part of the HeartLink network is that you pay to attend your meetings. Have an opportunity for people to connect. There's yeah. over 700 just in the Matsu Women in Business right. Facebook group. Then we've got our sister organization in Anchorage now that started that we're sharing with. Right. And um, so we've got that where people can just go online in that forum and be able to share, ask for referrals, who's a good accountant, where should I buy yeah. some mascara? You know, whatever that right. happens to be, we've got we've got that um, within our organization. So there's a combination of people in direct sales, in uh, their own product creation, uh, professionals, real estate, insurance, everything you can think of. I thought this show would really benefit businesses, and now it's really serving many uh, many areas. So it's, it's a wonderful. Great way to showcase yeah. the work that we do as individuals and yeah. even highlight the work that you do and connecting us with a resource such as being yeah. able to, to talk and share the information about our companies and, and the work that we do and the connections that have been built. So, yeah. so now, do you have a special message for anyone who's watching Alaska Business Now? Anything you want to share about your business personally or the group as a whole? Well, we're going to run our Facebook page across the bottom of the screen here. So if you are interested in, in, in participating and connecting through either Anchorage Women in Business or Matsu Women in Business, our Facebook group is really the best place to join in, have a conversation, ask more information, and uh, we can connect with you that way. And now we're going to meet Sapphire. Great name. I love that name. It's like a movie star. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> uh, my name's Sapphire, and I own Alaska Dream Real Estate. I recently started um, actually as a, I'm co-owner of Reliabilt Contracting and it was my dream actually to expand that into real estate. Could you explain that because I know you restored things, you could remodel anything. Tell me about that, mm -hmm. how that started. Um, I've been in construction a good deal of my life and I decided that it was time to expand my talents and start my own business because I wanted to be able to help people in a way that I couldn't do through somebody else. So that's why I started Reliabilt Contracting. And recently I decided to expand upon that and get my real estate license. And how, did, how did you get interested in the real estate because you were remodeling? Did you think it was just another a way of, ex of servicing more about purchasing remodels? No, I, well I've always been interested in real estate. Um, homes and the beauty of homes has been a passion of mine and I felt it could just expand upon my desire to do more for our community so and of course helping you know homeowners maybe think outside the box you know we have new construction homes we have existing homes but we have a, a lot of fixer-uppers here in Alaska yes. and you know, when people can have an option to purchase a fixer-upper with a little less stress knowing they have somebody that can help them make it their dream home, 
it can really open the door for them. Wonderful. So do you think it's helped you a lot? Oh, absolutely. The Matsu Women in Business has expanded and provided opportunities that I otherwise would have never had. And, you know, just the lessons I've learned from these women in the group and the um, help provided and just the camaraderie and yeah. it's just amazing. And now we're going to meet Marilyn. You have a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, hi, my name's Marilyn Methvin and we um, came here to Alaska uh, after my husband retired from the Air Force and I finally got my little farm. So on my little farm I've had chickens and ducks and um, ordinary like that. I got sheep and um, I now have alpacas but with the sheep I wound up meeting some people and going to a fiber retreat and I learned to paint pictures using the fiber instead of spinning. So I have started painting pictures and I've learned to to felt the wool and make hats and um, scarves and um, other little things you know dryer balls and things like that and so I've got um, Marilyn's fiber art so that is that is my business that I'm doing right now and um, a friend of mine told me about the meeting the Matsu women in business and so I like here I've been homeschool mom and stay-at-home mom mom of nine kids this is all wow. I've known as mom you know and finally got my farm but I'm still this that kind of person so going off I'm, I'm, am I really do I have this fit for this women in business kind of thing but I'm trying to sell my pictures I'm trying to They're beautiful to sell, to sell some things yeah. so okay I really have a business license and everything so I'm gonna go to these meetings and I was so scared but everyone was so sweet and everyone accepted me in and, and built me up and um, it has been amazing for me to be part of this group. I've been listening to YouTube um, speakers yeah. talking about all this, and I listened to this um, coach named Mari Smith and really liked how she talked and was thinking maybe I should listen to more of her things. When um, Tammy starts posting all this really cool stuff, and I'm like, I want in on the secret. What is it? And come to find out, she's gotten hooked up with Mari Smith through this other company and I'm like you've got to be kidding I was like I've just got put right into this so um, it, it's I mean you have to go through makeup to get to Mari Smith and I'm like well I could do that because I really need to start changing that kind of stuff back up because I'm not just mom right I'm not just a farmer so this is gonna be a lot of fun so I jumped on board really quick and we're, I'm learning all this coaching from getting all this coaching from her and we're actually taking that into starting to add it into the the mats of women in business and have some classes and try and teach some of the things we're learning some of and get people that that need that need help with that so we're all helping each other I know social too. media uh, learning all of that is very overwhelming and I know I've needed a lot of help myself and when I saw some of the postings of Tammy, I was thinking, oh, well, it's just because she's really smart and brilliant, <laughs> and I'm not going to be in that category for sure. Or I know she hasn't hired anyone. She's just smart and brilliant. Look, she started Matsu Women in Business. But then she told me also about that training, and I thought, oh, could other people, <laughs> other plebeians like me, <laughs> learn this? And, and you said there's hope that other people can learn this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm relieved, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's very exciting. Well, thank you, Marilyn. Anything you want to add? Um, no, if, if you are a woman in business and you want to join our group and be part of our, our trainings and, and our encouragement to each other, you should go to the Mounts of Women in Business and get involved. Tammy, is there a way that people can get this training or if they want to find out more about joining is there room for more people to join Matsu women in business and get some of that training absolutely so we're we're never going to reach a point where we have too many members of Matsu women in okay. business uh, we might break up and do some additional groups or some sub networking groups based on business types or interests or okay. or skill building there is so much on the horizon for us to be able to do uh, and as it is right now we have a face-to-face -face meeting once a month in Palmer 
and another face-to-face -face meeting once a month in Wasilla so we can continue to grow and expand the work that we're doing at MAPSU Women in Business. But back to what Marilyn was sharing and all of this uh, social media marketing training that is really new and so vital, uh, we have been learning that through the business opportunity that was presented through a company called Myel. And uh, we'll, we'll put up um, a website for you to be able to get more information or to be able to connect with me directly about that. So it is, it is a cosmetics company. It is direct sales, but th it's so much more than that. Because of the, the technical expertise that's been brought in and the coaches and the training, we haven't even launched as a company. We'll launch in October and already the company is just doing some phenomenal things. And so if anybody is sitting there thinking that they want to have a network, they want to have a business, they want to do more with social media and marketing, but don't even know where to start, let us know. Just reach out and we'll show you how to build it and we'll show you how to be successful with it. And now does it help if you wear makeup? <laughs> It's not a requirement. <laughs> All right. Well, you might know somebody who wears makeup, even if you want to just have a naked face. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. You've been watching Alaska Business Now, and I'm here with a wonderful sub-network of some of the people there. We have Marilyn and Sapphire and Tammy, and thank you so much for joining us. And everyone's information is right here. Thank you. Are you a nonprofit that needs to get the word out about an upcoming fundraiser or event? Well, perhaps you're an association that gives back to Alaskans and you've been affected by recent budget and grant cuts. Alaska Community Happenings is a show that was created for you and your organization to highlight all the good that you do for the people of our great state. For more information, call 907-707-7556. Alaska Community Happenings, it's happening just for you. Hello, this is Hillary Safran and you're listening to Alaska Business Now. You're actually watching it. I have with me today Laura Pinnock of Crafts with Care. This woman is an artist. She's amazing and the creator of these fabulous baby products and I know you sell to more than 50 stores you're in the fair. Tell me how did this start? Sewing. Just there you go. My mom and learning and then just ran with whatever I could make now, and, yeah. and now, it's grown tremendously. I know you can sew anything. She can sew girls clothes, women clothes, but you've decided to have a niche, a specialty with these beautiful baby gift packages. So, and you package them beautifully. Yeah, hats and uh, what the blankets and the cloths. Now, are you interested in selling to any more stores in the the absolutely, have now? Absolutely, absolutely, all over the state, um, in this lower 48 as well. We're going to show the information on Laura's Facebook page, and what is that called? Crafts with Care, spelled with K's. Yes, and that's on the Facebook page with your phone number. You'll see it scrolling on the screen. Now. The booth in the fair is called something different. Craft Country, and it's on Green Spur, next to Hawaiian Shaved Ice. <laughs> so why don't you tell me about some of your creations here? You have such beautiful patterns. Four-piece set comes with a newborn hat, a blanket, a burper washcloth set, and a changing pad. It's a great oh, baby shower gift. It is. And numerous colors, numerous patterns to, you know, themes. I try to roll with themes as well. And I also <clears throat> make the changing pads in theme fabric so they come out the same. Now I noticed this is polar fleece. This, what's is this, cotton. Cotton. this is cotton. This is cotton. This is flannel. I, I make the hat as well. I don't store by it. It's all made with my tag inside. And the Alaska print are blanket and hat sets. I also make them in a four piece set in the Alaska motif. So is your uh, gift items also in hospitals? Yes, Alaska Regional and Providence at the Nursing Boutique right now um, would obviously be looking for more. So if someone wants to find out wherever they live, if there is a store nearby that carries your products, can they call you to find out? Absolutely. And it's on my Facebook page. What I do is I link the businesses that I sell to on okay. my Facebook page. There you go. Okay, so you excellent. you can actually see their stores. And 
Oh, good. Now remember, if you're a store that doesn't carry her products, you really need to do this because this is premier quality Alaska made. Alaska. Homemade right here. This is adorable. I love the little Thank bows. You. Oh my goodness. You're amazing. So how did you get into the baby items? I know you talked about somebody requested a hat. Um, I used to make all my own clothes and then I made my maternity clothes and then <clears throat> I was making items for my child, unborn child at that time, and my girlfriend came up and said, you need to make this hat. And so I started making that hat, and five months after my daughter was born, I was selling those hats at a local business here um, for whatever reason, because of choices on their own part, but I, used, I sold to them for a long time. It was the hat that I sold to them. And then did word get out about the quality products you sell? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, I can spot my product on somebody's baby a mile away. And That's I wonderful. have gone numerous times and told them, you know, I make that product. I have, you know, car seat covers, for heaven's sakes, that really? are not even here. And I'm like, oh, I just have to tell you that I, I made that product. And they're just very thankful and tell yeah. me what great things about it. So it's it's nice to Well to your your that. your products stand up to time. So I bet people uh, don't you have sometimes the children of uh, that are grown up that Absolutely. have things? Absolutely. And I ha there's a um, wonderful stories that go along with that, you know, from little girls that come up and ask me to fix their blanket or, you know, oh. things like that cuz they've worn the edge and Nice. So, long time. So for viewers seeing Alaska Business Now and they have heard of Crafts with Care and Laura from this, do you have any specials going on? Just come see me at the Alaska State Fair. Well, it's a wonderful booth called uh, Crafts Country. C Craft Country. Craft Country. And I have a new spot there in the booth, my booth, it's going to be called Mama's Boutique. So come oh. check it out. So specialty for the moms. Yep. Because I know you had products and you were talking about the uh, slings and stuff. Well, you just have to check it out in person. So this is Hillary Safran, Alaska Business Now with Laura Pinnock of Crafts with Care with a K. So thanks for watching and look at her stuff and buy some gifts. Thank you. This is Hillary Safran and you're watching Alaska Business Now and today we are filming from the North Star Bakery. If you haven't been here, the food is delicious. I have with me today Judy Randalls, the owner of Alaska Midnight Scents and you're going to tell us all about what you do and what you sell. We moved into the Creekside Plaza which is uh, where Joanne Fabrics is. I'm sure everybody knows Joanne's. Um, Didn't your store grow in size? Oh yes. We're around the corner from Joanne's, so down towards the Alaska Club. We have 3,400 square feet. We are, so it's, yeah, it's a huge difference. Very huge. Tell me about what you sell. Uh, we sell all kinds of things. So we have the fragrance bar, which is a custom perfumery, if you will. We have fragrance oils, essential oils, and we, we custom blend for you, so you can come sit at our fragrance bar, wow. uh, pick some different fragrances out, mix them together in different quantities, and you come up with something that's totally unique and totally you. That's the Alaska Midnight Scents part of our business. We also have a gift shop, which we sell candles. These are wonderful electric candles. I think they look so real. It's just incredible. They do have a timer, so you can they go off after a while, or you can leave them on constantly. This is called a La Ti Da fragrance lamp. It has a unique wick, which oh. is ceramic at the top. You put the fuel, it comes with its own fuel, and you get a bottle of fuel when you buy a lamp. You put the fuel in, you put the wick in, you have to prime the wick the first time, so you leave it sitting with the solid cap on it for about 30 or 40 minutes. Take the solid cap off, light this like you would a candle, and for three to five minutes, it has a flame that is gnarly big. So you want to watch it at that point. That's its most dangerous time. When you blow that flame out, you make sure you blow it out. You put this crown on, and this thing operates, and it is the most efficient, uh, strongest home fragrance delivery system on the planet, bar none. It uh, was created in France. Uh, they made it for the cigar bars. To, oh, to get rid of that cigar odor. And if you know how strong cigarette and pet odors are, mm -hmm. this wipes them out clean. And it only takes about 20, 
30 minutes. So then you stop it by putting the solid cap on and the rest of the time you just have a beautiful art glass vessel to uh, sit on a shelf or a coffee table. Really? They're wonderful. They're wonderful and super efficient. Nice. It's and like the best thing ever. What's the uh, shirt there? Oh, these are our, this is a new product since we moved into the new store and we have room now. These are local made. Uh, the company is called Sarah Graphics. Uh, most of the designs were designed here. Uh, our, our Trump shirt, America. <laughs> Whether you're a fan of Donald Trump or a foe of Donald Trump, uh, it just makes sense because we shall overcome. So, <laughs> so this was designed in Anchorage by a, a local lady so that, and that is uh, a made serious, by Sarah Graphics. It's a serious looking eagle with a comb over. Yeah, I, I, I know, understand isn't that it great? Now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome. So we have, and we have about six designs so far of shirts um, and we plan to bring in more. Well, wonderful. Well, it sounds like you have wonderful products yeah. and you're in a huge store. Do you have a special, if anyone of our viewers has seen this Alaska Business Now, what are you offering? We have a uh, text campaign going on right now. Do you have one of those, one of those cards? This is also being filmed Misty, during a Matsu Women in Business Sorry. meeting, so that's where we have our fine audience. So this is you get a you text uh, midnight to this number and you get uh, you get a text message back and you accept the uh, text message you say yes to join and then you bring that uh, text message in and we give you a free gift and the number is five one six six zero that's five one six six zero callers <laughs> and also I'm wearing this fabulous garter oh, that yes. tell me about the garter real quick the girly go garter it has. Uh, about five or six pockets all around. Let me show you. So you can put your keys in here, your cell phone, credit cards, ID, if you're going out on the town, or uh, a lot of brides like them for the wedding, for the bridesmaids. You can also, there's a hidden pocket. So in here, underneath. We're gonna be related after this. Yes. <laughs> underneath, there's a hidden pocket. Baby. So if you wanna put change or money in there, that's hidden and it's got a little little cover so that nice to meet you <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much i had a great it's time a and remember this is alaska business now from the north star bakery this week stay tuned for more and this was judy randall's of midnight alaska midnight sense nice. thank you after this break we will be on location at alaska midnight sense Hi, this is Hilary Saffron with Judy Randalls. We are in the actual store, Alaska Midnight Sense. <laughs> Judy, you have much more than you mentioned before. Overwhelming. Tell me, you have this huge garden section. How did you get into that? I love our little yard. We just set up a little, uh, little grassy area. My husband built a little fence and it's uh, yep. also a display, so. Uh, we put some pipes inside so that it holds wow. the garden stakes and the spinners. You have a lot of beautiful glass and bronze and metal, what do they call it, garden art? of uh, Yard art. Yard art, yeah. And you have uh, plaques and you also have a huge section of bird baths. Just beautiful, beautiful of all kinds of uh, blown glass. Yeah. glass. Glass bird baths and yeah. they're really nice. They're very decorative. Uh, some people use them for a bird bath, others use them for a bowl, just a catch-all on the table or nice. uh, in a yeah. foyer. They work really good if you put one on a stand and then you can just dump your keys in there and wow. all that kind of stuff. So. And it seems like it also goes with your chimes. You've got a lot of chimes. We do have chimes. We usually yeah. have a bigger selection of chimes. We're pretty low on them right wow. now, so some of the big Huge. ones will have to be reordered, but yeah. yeah. So I see you also have a lot of hanging uh, glass. Uh, aside from your ornaments, I see you have the tree there in your garden section of hanging glass. What is that for? Yeah, oh, that's their ornaments. Um, oh. uh, many in the past called them witch balls. Uh, they're supposed to trap spirits and stuff. They have oh. glass inside which it looks really cool. Is They're that the same, really awesome. the same idea as dream catchers kind of thing? Sort of like a dream so catcher, yeah. Wow, very interesting. So yeah. I see you also have another section for children. So let me understand, this shop is for all ages. Absolutely, so all ages, all genders. I see you have a huge stuffed animal collection and hanging mermaids. This is uh, really brand new for us, Hillary. It's, uh, 
it's been a long time when we were in our little store we just didn't have the room to do yeah uh, stuffed animals because they take up a lot of room so uh, once we got in here it was uh, it was a given that we were going to order some stuffed animals and this is yeah. aurora plush it's a really fine oh, line of nice. of plush toys and uh, so far, so good. So there's a, a play area where the children could sample all the different kind of kinetic sands. You have a lot of games, uh, a lot mm -hmm. of uh, critters, and and what's the models they have? These are uh, Metal Earth. It's uh, yeah, they are small models. We just happen to be nearby. Wow. This is the P51 Mustang. It's oh a small metal model. So they come in flat sheets, yeah, and then you uh, pop them out. You get put them together. They don't require tools, but really? uh, small needle nose pliers are very helpful. So uh, really, this is really for all ages, especially maybe the dads. Fifteen and up. Ah, uh, they're they're pretty cute. intricate. Really, they're very intricate puzzles. Very yeah, light. Yeah. Yeah. No. Very nice. Yeah. Wow. And then this is a little solar the spinner. Yeah. Uh, this display base. You can buy these too. Really? Um, and they work from solar energy, so they don't require any batteries or anything like that. Really? And your model goes around and gives so a very nice solar energy, display. but even with fluorescent lights. Even with fluorescent lights. Who oh, no. knew? And if anyone has any questions, where Creekside Plaza is along the Parks Highway, what would you say? I would say to find you. Give us a call at uh, 907-357-7364, um, or come to the Creekside Plaza. Uh, pretty much everybody knows where Joanne Fabrics is, and we are right around the corner. Come on by Alaska Midnight Sense, and you've been watching Alaska Business Now with Judy Randalls, the founder and creator of this fabulous store of 3,400 square feet of fun. Thank you. Are you a small business that needs an affordable alternative to print and radio advertising? Maybe you're a brick and mortar store or even a direct sales representative and you're looking for a way to bring more customers in. Well, Alaska Business Now was created as a way for you to reach over 150,000 viewers on MeTV. So even if you're a musician promoting your band a new CD or an author wanting a way to get exposure for your book, this is a great new venue designed just for you. So call 907-707-7556 for more information. Alaska Business Now, it's helping your business grow.